Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX5 once again. So in today's video we are going to see next episode of our ongoing series which is new 301. In today's video we are going to see how we can use UV tile node to retexture our character and also how we can add more variation or breakdown to our character. Yes, today's video is going to be a very interesting and very advanced video. So be with us and without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have my setup which we have finished in last video. So what we have done, we have rebuilt our shader and we did tweakings to individual passes so that I can get my desired result. Also, we have used our lens distortion. Also, we did our black point matched and we added shadow to our scan plate and added our character on top of everything, right? In this particular frame, I'm getting that the amount of edge wear and tear is too much. So if you remember, we have added our edge wear and tear over here, if you can see. So I can anytime come over here and I can reduce it by lowering our mix, something like that. I think it's pretty okay for me. If needed, we can come anytime and we can enhance it or increase it. So it's pretty okay to me. Let's jump to last frame. Now let's do some advanced stuff, right? I want to add more breakup to lights as I can see over here. I want to break those same kind of light fall off. So what we have here, I have my mesh which comes from Maya and also this mesh having animation and there is a trick to export alembic file from maya if you want to know that i will make a video in detail so that you'll have that kind of uh, alembic meshes or alembic caches from maya to use it in new you what you have to do just you have to comment down below right so i want to retexture my this mesh and i want to use that texture to break down our lighting setup, right? So it's pretty easy to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a node called uh, noise. And in noise, let me keep one. So I have to keep it in mind that I have to add texture as per resolution of actual texture. So resolution of actual texture is 2K. So uh, what I have to do, I have to go over here in reformat node. I have to take a reformat node and in reformat, we have to do square 2K, right? Because I know this is the texture resolution which we have used in Maya, right? So now we are getting our 2K texture. If I want, I can reduce the size of my noise. And to apply this texture to my mesh, what I have to do, I have to use a node called UV tile. And what this UV tile will do, this UV tile will project texture as per our UV unwrapping, right? You have to keep it in mind. And if I'm going to connect my mesh, so you can easily see I'm getting my texture, but there is a problem. First problem is it's transparent. And second problem is my texture is coming only on half part of my character, right? So why this is happening? Because in Maya, I kept my UV in two separate UDIMs, right? I have to mention those UDIMs. So my first UDIM will be what I have to do in uh, UV tile, you have to enable and first UDIM is 1001. And my second UDIM, I'm going to do this control C control V. And in UV tile two, I have to keep it 1002. Because that's the way how I did uh, UV unwrapping inside Maya. And after that, I have to use a node called merge mat or merge material. And now I can merge both the materials. And now I'm going to connect my mesh to my merge material, something like that. Let me do this. If I'm going to see now I'm having my full body over here, but the first problem, transparency is still there. So what I have to do, just go over here and in noise, if you'll check, I have a very unique kind of alpha. So to fix it, I'm going to take a node called checkerboard and I'm going to copy checkerboard's alpha 
to my noise and to do that what i have to do i have to again take this reformat node and i have to add to this right and also i can do this apart from that i am going to take a copy node and in copy node i am going to copy my alpha to this stream and i have to adjust my stream as per my requirement now i am having my alpha keep it in mind if alpha will be transparent then your texture projection also will be transparent right so if i am going to see now my texture is coming pretty nicely right also i am having my camera so i am going to render my this setup with this camera so to connect it i will be needing a node called scene i will connect my mesh i will connect my camera and also i'll be needing a scan line render to render my 3d scene right scene will connect to scene and camera will connect to camera something like that now if i'm going to check my character will come with the new texture right so what i have to do i have to use this as a mask so let me create some space over here what i want i can use it in a texture but in this case i am not using my albedo pass because i started my compositing with my light passes so i want to add my light breakup on top of every light right so probably i will use my breakup setup over here so let me do this and also i am going to take a node called grade and in grade node i am going to connect this scan line as a mask and this over here right after connecting it you have to keep it in mind that my grade is set to alpha but if we'll check over here my alpha is solid i don't want to use my solid alpha i want to use this data as a alpha right so rather than using alpha i can use any channel suppose that i'm going to use red channel as a mask right so i'll do that and if i'm going over here and if i'm going to lower down my gain you can easily see i am getting my this thing correct but one problem is coming to show you if you can see i am getting my output or result only in half part of my character right why so because in scanland render i am rendering 2k dcp right so what i have to do just take a node called reformat here is the trick you have to take it about that the re original render is of 2142 1130 so make sure your this render should match our maya render right so i'm going to select 21421130 and i'm going to connect with my background right as i'm going to connect my with my background as you can see my mesh is matching properly right one more thing i would like to tell you that if you are going to use scanland render you can see jaggy edges so to fix it we have a uh, few things like i can go to multi sample and i can crank it up but right now i'm not going to use it because it will slow down my pc but in final render obviously i'm going to increase it right now if i'm going to see my effect is coming overall can you see that so this kind of break up we can add easily something like that but it's too much so what i'm going to do i'm not going to use this much so little lesser value i'm going to put and if i'm going to see my final output what i'm getting i will get a very nice break up to my character can you see that and you need not to worry about movement of camera because the same camera which i have used in maya i'm using it for rendering right so this will be my last frame this will be my first frame and also character movement is also there because in my alembic cache i cached animation as well right by using same method i am going to add more scratches to our character so to do that i have a scratch information over here so i am going to apply these scratches to my character right so how i can do that it's pretty simple i am going to take a node called premult right and after adding premult i am getting this also i want to add some breakup so i can use node called noise or probably i can copy this setup control c control v and take a grade node because i want to add some breakup connect this i can use it as a mask and in grade i am going to use rgba and lower down the gain 
So you can see easily I am getting my breakup kind of stuff. So now I am having my breakups, right? So same way I am going to copy this setup. Control C, Control V. And now I can use this as a texture like this, right? And same way I need mesh or also I can, I'll be needing this setup as well. Control C, Control V. And if I'm going to see, I will have these textures applied on my character, right? Now I can use this as a alpha, right? So it's pretty simple. You can do it. Also, I want to apply my these texture or scratch texture almost here because I want that texture to be applied on uh, my key light, my rim light and my fill light as well. Right. So I'm going to select this. Let me make some space and I can add another grade node. I'll use it as a mask and I will connect over here. But this time. I am not going to darken it. I'm going to brighten it up a little so that I will have these kind of scratches. Can you see that? But not this much obvious. So I have to reduce it. Also, what I want, I want to add some more texture to it. How I can do that? Again, I'm going to take a noise or probably I will copy this noise. Control C, Control V. Just take up merge and screen it or plus it, whatever you want, screen it, right? But not this harsh. So I'll go over here. Probably I'll do this. Also, I'm going to decrease the size, something like this. And if I'm going to see now, I'm having some detailed texture, right? Can you see that? So let's check if it's not okay, then I have to change the size, right? So let me enable it, disable it. And if you can see, it's too bright because my texture size is too much. So I'm going over here and also I'm going to reduce my texture size, something like that. Let me check my render. It's again hit and run, right? Also, if I want, I can add some breakup to it, but I don't want currently, but it's okay, right? Let's check my final output. And if I'm going to see it, you can easily see I'm having lots of detail, lots of variation. Right. Can you see that lots of variation over here? So if I'm going to enable and disable these two values, just check how flat this is. And by adding those two, I'm having lots of lots of lots of detail. Right. Also, if you want not to use that intense, what else I can do? I can go over here and I can reduce the values like this. Right. Not like this. I can reduce very subtle. I'm going to use it. Right. So now it's looking pretty fine to me. Also, we need to do few more tweakings, right? If I want any time I can come and I can reduce it, right? But if I can see my highlight having more variation, right? It's pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, so it's now looking pretty fine to me. Let's do some more changes. Like I want to add some sort of softness because if I can see I'm having little softer pixels over here, but my character's pixels are little sharper, right? Also, if you can see it's standing on the wooden log later on, we are going to mask it out and we are going to keep his fit beside of that wooden log, right? So need not to worry. So my main concern is softness, right? So what I can do after this, I am going to use a node called soften, right? And if I'm going to see it's too soft now, so I'm going to reduce size to probably one or 0.75. So I can keep it one very little softness. Can you see that? And before softness also, I can do some sharpening. Always remember sharpen it first and then soften it, right? So to sharpen it, I'm going to use a node called log to lin. And in log to lin, I'm going to convert it linear to log first. And after that, I'm going to take a sharpen node. After sharpen node, again, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to convert it into linear once again, right? So if you can see, 
I am having a very good amount of sharpening, right? But I'm not going to use it directly. I'm going to take a merge node and over here in merge, I'm going to blend it in max mode. What max mode will do, it will only apply the changes, nothing else, right? So changes is sharpened, right? So I think it's too sharpened. So I can easily reduce the size or also I can reduce the blend size, which is this. So after doing this, let me show it final output. So after adding my sharpen, you can see my brighter parts are little more sharper. We call it Luma sharpening, right? So this is something I'm getting, but it's too much. So let me lower it down something to 0.5. And if I'm going to check it, yeah, it's coming pretty nicely, right? Also, I'll keep eye on my white point and I think it's too much. Later on, we will reduce it need not to worry. Okay, so I think that's it for today's video. And guys, believe me, it will take one or two more sessions to complete this compositing task. Because see, already I have discussed that compositing is not that you are spending 20 and 25 minutes and compositing will be done. And for the sake of the video, I am keeping it almost 15 to 20 minutes ka video. Otherwise, what will happen? It will be a boring video, right? So small, small parts, in multiple videos, it will be convenient for you to see and it will be convenient for me to create it, right? So I hope this video will help you to understand the retexturing process in Inside Nuke and this will definitely help you to make your comp better, right? So if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video and if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.